everyone, welcome to Watch It Paint It. In this video, we're going to be painting Julio from Watch It Paint It's Patreon. If you don't know who he is and you would like to know who he is, um, check out the Patreon. Come and join the Discord channel. He's there nearly every day. Really nice bloke. Come and chat to him and see that he looks exactly like the captain from Nemesis. So I'm just showing you the model here. These are prototype. Well, this, this is a prototype model. All four that I've got are prototype models. Awake and Realm sent them to me. So just bear that in mind. They're not the finished product we're all going to be getting. I'm going to be starting with Crusted Saw. So I'm going to try and use that um, Zenithal highlighting. So I'm also going to try painting some of the underside a darker, a darker color, much like Mike from Heroes and Bosses did with the Minotaur. But you know, to, to be honest, this model is just too small to be faffing around with these sorts of transitions and blending of the two colours. But I gave it a little go just because I didn't think you could do it on small models. But, you know, you never know until you try. I tried. Don't bother trying. Just uh, just do it all in Survivor Skin, which is, or any paler flesh tone, really. So I'm going to be using Survivor Skin for the white sections of the model. But as I, as I just said, I would have painted the black side in hindsight. I just paint all of the skin in this color so that this is his face his neck his neck's quite difficult to reach unfortunately on this model his hand is really easy what's this sign he's making what's all that about is he saying like go 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 or is he pretending he's got an extra gun is he trying to dual wield but he's only got one and then he's got the other gun on top of his other gun he's got his other hand holding the other gun so you've got to get that too i'm using my detail brush this is a rosemarine co 2 slash zero aka detail brush I'm going to be using Necromancer Cloak for sort of, he looked like he had black slash grey hair. Um, if you're not if you're not trying to show a difference between black and grey, I often choose this Necromancer Cloak, the darkest grey I've got. And I just think that looks better than black because it, it's easier to sort of highlight up without looking too stark. You can also use black wash to, to make the details in the grey pop out as well. So I, if I can... I'll choose um, Necromancer Cloak for black, especially if it's like slightly off black and not pure black in the artwork, that sort of thing. I'm also going to be painting his jumpsuit a sort of grey colour. This artwork is so difficult to tell what's what colour his jumpsuit is versus like just what's lighting and that. So let me know. Let me know in the comments below what colour you think it is. Again, hindsight, 2020. If I was doing this again, I should have done it more like I did the soldier, where he's a bit orange, like sort of his colouring a bit red uh, so i used orange as a lighter red um and then the what was the other one? the scout was a bit purpley but we thought that was just the lighting in the end so this one i i wish i'd done it sort of a wolf gray a really dark gray blue instead so if his jumpsuit was a blue i think that would just work better he, he he's the color in the game he's a blue color so i think a bluey jumpsuit would look better and it's just you can't see yet but by the end of by the end of the video you'll sort of see a lot of silver and a lot of gray and it's just a bit bland it, it's i think it's still i think i painted it well like it's still done well in those colors just those colors in hindsight weren't the best choice they're not a bad choice i don't think it was the best choice let me know in the comments below what you think maybe you just like it in the gray but i just it just looked a bit bland to me and i like things a bit more spicy so that was filthy suit for all the white areas of his jumpsuit but again the centerful highlight and he's just too small to be faffing with changing the colors what what i would be better off doing is just just watering down the because uh, now you can see i've really watered this um filthy suit down and now i'm trying to blend the necromancer cloak to the filthy suit and it's just too smaller area really so what i would have been better off is just watering down filthy suit applying it almost like a glaze so if you've got sort of glaze medium that might work quite well as well and just try and use the xenophil highlighting to darken the filthy suit because in the black areas because it's a thin coat the black will show through more and the white will show through more so it'll be lighter at the top and darker on the bottom and that, that's how i did the soldier so if you want to check out the soldier i use really really watered down glaze effect layers and just built that up gradually slowly slowly sort of thing and in here i'm trying what mike did with that minotaur from massive darkness if you'd like to check that out that works really really well on a large model so if you want to check out this technique much more easier to see on a large model which we can use later on for nemesis do check out that minotaur video that's on the channel otherwise i just skip this but you know look at the end of the day look what it looks like at the end and maybe you think whoa that's how you've achieved it so maybe we should try doing that but you know i don't, I don't know i got sun drop so i'm sort of 
just experimenting with these prototypes for what I'm going to do because I am going to paint my heroes even though the sun dropped. I'm just going to try and use that Xenophil highlighting as a little help. So all the metal, he's got tons of metal all over him and I used the machine gun metal, my dark silver in all the black areas and I'm now using Claymore Blade in all the white areas. Of So he's got this harness around him, he's got his big boots, his gun, uh, stuff across his chest as well and uh, I sort of already feel like he's looking bland you know I mean we're not we're not at the end and obviously I've not done the the washes and the highlights yet but I, you know in my memory I've painted this a couple of weeks ago and I'm just remembering I thought it was bland and I'm now watching it back and just thinking it's bland you know that sort of thing so as I mentioned wolf grey guys try a darky grey blue sombre grey in Vallejo's kit um don't, sorry, I don't know what it is in Citadel. Somebody let us know in the comments below what it is in Citadel's range. So I'm going to use dead black now, as I mentioned. So the grey I used in the dark grey area, slash black for his hair. But now I'm going to use pure black, and that's for the butt of his gun. And I'm just going to paint a layer on the base. Just, just getting that ready. It'll probably need an extra coat, and I'm probably going to get some wash on it, maybe some highlights on it, but I'm just getting the base layer down. I'm going to be using Magic Blue, similar to what I did with the Soldier, where I just gave him some bright red straps to match his base. Here we go. I'm going to paint the rim of the base so you can recognize the character. Even though, to some extent, you know, once these miniatures are painted, they're pretty recognizable, aren't they? So I guess you probably don't need to do this. And once I get my copy of this game, I will be using that sort of diamond plating, steel plating bases that I got from Game Envy, which I've used on deep madness so far so if you've not seen those bases check out any of the deep madness videos and you'll see what i'm talking about so i often get asked why i don't paint all the prototypes i get given and i thought that was just a perfect explanation for it they're fragile and they snap really really easily and i just apply the lightest bit of pressure there applying it I'm sure you're all quite used to models camping off the bases. It's not a big problem, but as it hit my desk, it actually snapped one of the arms of his um, harness thing. So I had to glue that back together. Uh, luckily, that was the only damage, but that's the reason. If, I, if I've backed the game, if I'm getting the game, once I've showed some rough, you know, I try and do a few prototypes when I can to give you guys, give you subscribers a little view to the game. But, you know... I have to paint them twice if it's a game I'm actually definitely going to get, which this is one of them. So I'm still painting them just because, uh, you know, I'm not getting it for ages. I'm in, this, in the wave two. So I thought I'd try and get these prototypes out so you guys can see. It also gives me something to give away on the channel. So that was all the wash done. It was light tones with his face and his hands. And then it was survivor shader everywhere else, all the metals and his gray jumpsuit and that's what he looks like. You could just stop there if if that was if that's enough for you. You could easily stop there, and you've done a, a nice base coat, and the washers have really made the details pop back out. But let's not stop there. Let's do some highlighting. So survivor shaders back out. I'm going to be highlighting up all of Julio's fingers and his face. I'm down to my insane detail brush. This is the Army Painter's brush, smallest one I own. So I'm going to very 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 carefully getting a tiny tiny bit of paint at a time you can see how often i'm reaching to my palette and i'm just getting a little bit of survivor shader and carefully painting up each individual finger very very thin lines this is it's watered down enough that it's a thin highlight to to blend in naturally but not so water it runs between the gaps in his fingers because that's where you want the wash to stay I'm going to do the same on his face. I'm going to get his forehead, his nose, especially his nose and his cheekbones. And I'm going to catch the tops of his ears too. Then I'm going to go on to highlighting all the metals. And it's going to take me about four days using the insane detail brush. I'm going to use the Claymore blade. That's my light silver. And I'm just going to edge highlight. There's a bazillion edges. They're all over this model. His boots I've got loads and loads of edges. I'm going to go around every single one. Insane detail brush. Getting a tiny bit of paint at a time. No water in this paint whatsoever. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I've rarely watered down my metallics. Um, and not for this. I don't want it running anywhere. And I really want to keep it like a high contrast, high concentration of the sort of the, the metal pigments. You heard me. Uh, and I'm, I'm just going to go around. It's going to take me forever. We'll just watch me do this for like the next hour and a half or something. But 
it it comes together. It brings it gives him some color. So I mentioned I think he looks quite bland. This is one of the steps that's going to help make him look less bland. There's suddenly going to be a lot of shiny bits on him all popping out, and the metal's going to look really fatigued, really tarnished using that black wash that we applied in the the shading stages. His harness has got loads of edges too, loads and loads of little bits of what piping stuff metal bits i don't know it's got it's got like a spine a metal spine down the back of his harness got to do each one of those vertebrae yes love it when i know a word <laughs> i've got nothing to say we just gotta go around and paint all these edges it's just gonna be forever and i feel like all those models have got all of these edges i haven't I've done this every single time it seems like a massive massive chore and that i hope that i'm not missing anything in the artwork it just looks like loads and loads of silver so it took a while filthy suit gonna do some would you say edge highlighting basically gonna go around and find all the folds in his jumpsuit and paint a little thin semi watered down again i don't want this to run off of the tiny fin because these are resin models and the details insane so i'm just going to go around and catch every little fold every raised bit uh he's got a collar around his like coat of the jumpsuit at the top going to edge highlight all the way around that collar <laughs> again it's just painstaking work i'm using insane de insane detail brush and a tiny bit of paint at a time apologies in this video if i sound like i'm full of cold because i am full of cold so Hopefully my voice will be back to normal soon. I'm going to use electric blue, not that magic blue from before. This is the bright, bright blue that I've got by Vallejo, one of my favorite colors. And I'm going to give him some sort of laser beam cartridge in his gun. I don't know, it looked like it had some sort of blue in the artwork, a really bright blue. I'm not going to do any OSL. I don't fancy that on this model and I've done that. It does look good. Some OSL does look good, but this is a bit of a fiddly small model. I'm just going to end up making his gun glow and like his hand. I don't know. It just I think it looks weird. So at the end of this, I've mentioned a few times through the video, I felt like it was a little bit bland. So in the artwork, he looks like he's got some red maybe on some of them. This is a problem with Citadel uh, paints for my liking. That lid will not stay open. Um, I'm going to use some gemstone one their red gemstone paint and i'm just going to paint them on some sort of like i thought maybe had some lighting on his harness so have a glance at the artwork it looked like it had a few bits of red but on the model there's no detail for any of the bits i could see in the artwork so i'm just gonna you know for once use my imagination and just add a little bit of touch just a tiny bit to try and make him look a little bit less bland so sort of give him a light either side of the, the chest part of his harness and then on his boots, again, there's a little section that I thought well, we could have some lights on there. So I'm just going to paint him some of these on. So this is one of Citadel's technical paints. So it should look a bit like a gemstone. Oh, and I'm just trying to make it look, well, gemstone's fine or a bit lighting. So you're supposed to apply the paint at the bottom edge of the gem. I did, I did air quotes, you can't see. And then stroke upwards and away from where you put the paint on and that should give like a gem effect and it, it did work quite well actually on on this it looks different it looks quite shiny quite unique um a bit well lit and that sort of thing so i haven't haven't varnished this guy at all so there's no gloss or anything and this is just him completely finished an hour and 13 minutes not too bad given it the, it was sort of the resin detail a dif difficult model to paint hopefully the the finished version isn't let me know in the comments. I, as I mentioned, I think Wolf Grey for the uniform would have been better. Let me know if you agree. Let me know what you think in the comments. I'm, I'm still happy with that. I think Julio's come out looking just fine. And I'll probably play with this once I get the game until it snaps into pieces because my friends aren't gentle with it. I'll make sure they wear gloves, that sort of thing. Thank you all very much for watching. If you're new to the channel, do hit subscribe. I am going to be painting this game coming in the future. As soon as I get my copy, we'll be seeing some of the monsters, etc, etc. Um, as for now, just got one prototype left. So let me know in the comments below if you'd like to see the last one that I can do before I get my game. As I said, thank you all very much for watching. Catch you again next week.